Hiya folks and friends, I'm The Fringe and welcome to a game called My Inner Demon. Now I imagine in this game we have some sort of inner demon, so I imagine we're not a very nice person and from the trailer it looks like there's a lot of death and weirdness in it. Other than that I don't know what's going to go on. So if at any point you decide you like this video, be sure to subscribe to become a friend of The Fringe. Let's go! Okay. What, what happened? What did happen? There's no dishes in the sink and it's a horror game. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's not good. A dead man. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> There's a dead man. Yeah, that is pretty bad to be fair. Okay, so let's have a, a meander and work out what's going on. There's a knife. Can we pick this up? Hmm. Just casually, there's a knife. Hmm. That wasn't there before. Okay, so what's this? I wonder who it belongs to. Okay, little book. 12th of September 1980, I have arrived at Mountain View. I can see where the name comes from. The mountains and the trees surrounding the town gives it a picturesque look. I have a grand apartment at the Bellgate building. It has so much character and history. The other tenants are very friendly and helpful. I was moved in a jiffy. Not that I had many belongings with me. I quickly found space for them along my Aunt Sally's stuff. Anna invited me for dinner. I hope she will be my first friend here. Okay, so we're new in town. We are very new. And there's a lot of dead people all of a sudden. And a crow just sort of casually waiting. Called John lived here. Hearing his tale will give you a tear. This apartment was his mom's before violence turned her into bloody gore. Okay. So why are we all of a sudden here? Last month he lost his wife, house, and job. Why is Mr. Crow talking to me? I'm really confused about this. With a sob. Mom's life insurance gave him some hope, but bad luck showed him he was a doe. Okay, this crow sounds like very sinister and weird psychopath, but also quite the gentleman and quite Find that sophisticated. Paper, else you too will die from the vapor. The paper is the source of his soul. Find it, and you will have reached your goal. Okay, so we need to find a piece of paper. <laughs> okay, find lot of John's life insurance. I'm okay with that. Thanks, Mr. Crow. Appreciate your help. It's very nice and sweet of you. I'm very... Whoa! We move very quick, especially through shower curtains, apparently, but it's fine. Bloody bed, that's not so good. Okay. Death and murder. That's all well and good, isn't it? His mom must have died horrendously. His mom must have died horrendously. I thought his mom killed him. I think I misunderstood what Let's was going on entirely. Let's get some of these bottles. What? Why are we tidying up? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Why did that happen? Why is his life insurance under some bottles? I'm really confused. I want to have more of an explore. I imagine there's more stuff, but no, it's just open the door. Okay, fair enough. It's quite a small room. We're just going to move on. Oh. Now we're waking up somewhere else. What? What happened? I teleported? Oh my god. This crow just teleports us to random dead people. I'm not about it one bit. Damn. Another dead body? Another dead body, that's fantastic. Okay, before we speak to Mr. Crow, should we have a look around? Oh, it's too late. <laughs> she received good news, which made her twirl. The lottery gave her some money, just enough to keep her day sunny. Oh, it looks like she committed suicide because there's wine on the table. Cash. And she's dead, that's my logic. Buying crates of shady bottles of wine. Drinking wine. Made her feel not so fine. Oh, okay, so she was poisoned. Her That's no good. In a secret place. Find her stash. Bring a smile to her face. In that way, you have saved her soul. There's more to the story. More of fun. <laughs> right, okay. Sarah's stash. Got it. Yeah, casually, just okay. I did notice that the houses in this look very British. I don't know whether this is made by a British developer. I want to find out just because I keep on seeing that. And I've got hay fever and I'm talking down my nose. I keep noticing that. So, Sarah, let's find uh, your money. You've got a stash on the table, but I imagine that's not it. He has, she has the still uh, words. Let's get those out correctly. Hang on a second. She has the same shower curtain as the previous fella. Maybe they were in love and shared tastes for shower curtains. I doubt it, I but it could happen. Uh... Maybe. No. Okay, because that's exactly what you'd do if you was in a house with some random dead person, wouldn't you? You would definitely turn on the television. What's this? Diary entries, man. You shouldn't be reading people's diaries. 
22nd of September 1980, the building is foggy, damp and dark. It needs repairs which are starting to become extensive and is beginning to eat up my savings. The saving grace of this place is the view and the area. Dinner at Anna's was awkward. Okay, so this is the same people. This is the same people. It doesn't make sense. We're in a different building. I thought it was like a completely different scenario, but I think it's all interconnected. Obviously, my inner demon, I assume. I don't know, something like that. She doesn't say much, and I have to carry the whole conversation. She seems quite naive. The weather forecast is sunny with some clouds later today. I'll be able to do some washing. Well, that's all well and good and nice and happy, isn't it? I think we're the killer, and we're being regressed through our previous kills. Or something like that. No, because it was the same date. September was the same date. Let's have a look at this. I don't think I want to touch it. It's just a wine glass. Why can't we touch the wine glasses? Do these open? No. These don't open. Okay, so can we open this door? No? Mmm. Where would you put a thing in my bob or a what's my flop? Oh. You would think with all that money she would buy a new couch. That's a good point. That's because something's hidden in it. Boom! A key. This one nice. Open a door. Yeah, <laughs> this key will open a door. Yeah, it will. Fantastic. I like the voice acting, by the way. Is it going to open this door? Not open this door? No? Okay. How many doors are there? I don't remember any doors. It's got to open that door, hasn't it? Why won't it, though? Okay. Open, please. This key that's supposed to open doors isn't opening the door. Just casually putting that out. Okay, so maybe I've missed something. Maybe there's something I've got to look at because that door won't open yet. So I get the impression that something's missing because that would make sense, wouldn't it? I think. Probably. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? Maybe we talk to Mr. Crow. Oh, you're definitely dead. Oh, there we go. Okay. That makes sense. We had to find something, otherwise the door wouldn't open. That's why we needed the key. Now everything makes happy, hunky-dory sense. I'm all about that life. Okay. Where are we now? I'm going to puke. Oh, she can smell dead people, I imagine. Oh, he's in his pants as well. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. It's quite a serious context, but... Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Right, okay, so let's talk to Mr. Crow, because that's what we've got to do, I imagine. Oh, no talking to Mr. Crow. Just got to work it out, have we? Okay. <laughs> a healthy man lived in number three. Live healthy was his basic decree. Ben had another secret passion. Collecting cars was out of fashion. Okay. He wasn't alone loving his toy cars. Sarah's toy car lanes left many scars. She would always forget to pick up, giving Ben a reason to blow up. Last night he was taking a warm bath. The last time he would explode with wrath. Can you please find his favorite toy car? You will find a soul on your radar. Okay, I'm sort of confused by that. It didn't really make sense to me. Did they have a domestic, but he used to collect toy cars or something? I don't know. It didn't really make sense to me, but there you go. Whatever. That's fine. Is that his favorite toy car? Because that's a toy car. I imagine it's not his favorite then. Okay, let's go in here. That's a bus. His favourite should be in here, shouldn't it? Let's face it. You'd put it in the cabinet. Oh, there's going to be something creepy under here then, if that's the case. Okay, we found that pretty quick. That's opened another door. Okay, that's all well and good, I think. Is there anything else in here though? Because we found that key. And I feel like that key needed something, maybe. Should we read this? I should even read it. Maybe. Let me see. Let's read it. 28th of September 1980, that was when I was born, but obviously 1980 was long before I was actually born. But 28th of September is the date I was born. The longer I stay here, the better I get to know the people. The tenants were friendly at first, but they are starting to show a different side. John Tennant, number five, wasn't born under a lucky star. When I tried to dissuade him from a bad investment, I was ignored. Sally Tennant, number six, her place has the smell of a distillery. Okay, so these are like all independent stories, sort of, kind of. But we still don't know what's going on. I feel like there could be stuff around. There's a lot of noise around. It's always the same knife as well, which is weird. But I want to check everything out before we move on. Okay. So it ticks. That's all well and good, isn't it? Okay. The music's got really creepy all of a sudden. Really weird creepy. Don't know why. But I think that's everything. I think we've got everything. I think we can move on.
Who's next on the agenda then? Why are we throwing up even more? I feel better. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad you feel better. Is there any more dead people? Why am I not surprised? Yeah, but where's the dead person? Is this gonna be us? Are we dead? Oh no, there's a dead person. It's fine. <laughs> I say it's fine. He's also been killed with Thor's hammer by the looks of things, or she, depending. Come on, Mr. Crow, what's the sitch? You're not gonna you're not gonna Oh nice. She's had pizza for lunch by the looks of things. Obviously the ladder was the tool, killing her and leaving a blood pool. She loved to play piano at night. Her fake van goes a beautiful sight. Okay. Lentral <laughs> ladder to them last. And when she got it back, she sighed aghast. He didn't look after a ladder. Mm, she's a lady and showed no anger. Okay, so did someone get killed for a ladder? Wealthy, death is king, and we will bend the knee. The piano might be your first clue, or maybe it is the horse statue. Uh, what okay. This girl, the protagonist, as we're playing, is. She seems really chill. Got it. Considering the situation that she's in, oh, I wouldn't be this chill. Just casually pointing it out. Of course, I wouldn't. Okay. Said something about a piano and a horse. But we want to investigate everything, don't we? We don't want to miss stuff. That's what we're about. Nice horse. Uh, piano. Okay. Horse or piano. Van Gogh. Nice. Let's read this because we want to. Another journal. Somebody must love writing. 1st of October 1980, Troy tripping over Ben's cars, Troy telling him to put them away, but he keeps arguing that Sarah is the one putting them in the corridors. Anna is such a silly woman, she will believe anything. Ben told her about a ghost living on the roof, and now she keeps nagging me to keep the roof doors locked. I ignore her most of the time because I enjoy visiting Aunt Sally's pot plants and looking over the view, which was odd today. A lot of crows gathered on the street lamps. They seem somehow menacing, always the sign of death, I wonder. Well, there's a lot of dead people, so you know, the crows. The crows are out and about, aren't they? They're living the dream. Music box. Let's have a, a cheeky this look at that, shall we? Music box. It's not going to stop playing, is it? Of course it is. Music box are always creepy. You know they are. I don't like it. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Jump scare. Any second. Do you feel like that? Oh, I definitely feel like that. Brace yourself. <laughs> okay. It's going on for a while. Imagine just staring at a music box this slows for this long. Something bad's definitely gonna happen. Okay. Okay. Mm. Nothing bad happened. What? <laughs> that was just weirdly sinister. Okay, let's go and have a look at the horse. Nothing. Then it must be the piano. Okay. Come on, Mr. Piano. A music sheet. Oh, is this a puzzle? Oh, it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That, that makes sense. So, are you telling me that it's got something to do with the music box? But we've played the music box. So, you know. What's that unlocked? Has Twinkle Twinkle Little Star made something happen? I get the feeling it could have. You know what I mean? Unlock something maybe? Maybe a certain toad opens a secret room? Something like that. We just don't know. She has a thing with Van Gogh as well. There's a lot of Van Gogh paintings around. Oh, now, this. What can be hiding behind these doors? Nothing. Um, okay, nothing. But is it nothing? Because it can't be nothing. Because it's not necessarily... What's in the bath? Oh, I thought I saw something in the bath then. Gotcha. Oh! It was... Oh, it's something to do with Van Gogh, I imagine. I thought it'd be something to do with the painting, but I don't know that connection with pianos and horses' heads to do with Van Gogh, if I'm completely honest. But that's a brilliant painting. I am sorry, E. You know how competitive Beth is. Okay. I don't get what that means. Okay, moving onwards and upwards. Everything seems to be fine. Everything's good and happy, yeah. Moving on, more dead people. I reckon at some point it's going to be us that's dead. And we're going to be looking at ourselves. You're about to throw up. Dr. Watson, what do we have here? 
Whoa, she's not taking this as seriously as I think she probably should be taking this, to be totally honest. Someone's OD'd on pills, which isn't good. was always a fragile person. She had a strong will and liked to win. She loved to read any kind of book, but never ever ask her to cook. He likes his poetry, Mr. Mr. Crow over here. Huge bite, her throat got tight. Every body part started to swell. She couldn't get a word out to yell. Allergies can be so dangerous. It can leave you totally breathless. Beth's favorite was an adventure. Follow the clues and find the answer. Okay, I'm loving all these riddles. If I'm honest, I'm not really listening to them. I'm just making it up as I go wrong. Maybe I am after a book. Got it. Okay, so maybe you are after a book. Who knows? But that's not what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, I thought it was an overdose. No, just needs actual pills, which is fine. Okay. Why haven't they eaten anything? Why is that a blank plate? Same shower curtain. I think it's the same place actually. If I'm honest, there's a book in the shower. Oh, is that the actual book? Of a just... Oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more involved than that. I just walked into the bathroom and it was there. But let's read the diary yes, entry anyway. I need to read it. The last journal left me on a cliffhanger. 14th of October, 1980. Repairs on course. I saw Anna offering Beth some nuts, which she loudly refused. On a side note, I had to help Anna drag her ladder to Ben's apartment. What a lazy man that he can't help us. I am being side-eyed by Beth. I'm hearing my name being mentioned between the tenants, yet each time I turn around, they all have something else to do. Tonight, I'm calling a meeting to the rooftop where we can talk this out. Okay, so she's not getting on very much with her tenants and obviously has murdered all of them by the looks of things. There's no one left in this apartment building. And then the council come around and they're like, yo, I swear we had loads of people here, but nobody's paying their rent. And she's like, yeah, they all sort of died at the exact same time. That's not suspicious at all, you know what I mean? I imagine we're going to jump off that balcony, just casually pointing it out. That's definitely going to happen. So many books. Boom. Okay. Lots of books. Great. I think we've seen everything we need to see. We're moving on. Oh, this sounds a little bit more sinister. She's getting a little bit patronising, this protagonist lady. I'm not sure I'm about it. know I'm getting tired of this? Seeing dead bodies and searching for their souls. When can I go home? So, where's the body? It's us. I said it was us. It's definitely us. We are dead. I've said this. And we're going to jump off there. That's what's going to happen. We're regressing through. We killed everyone. And now it's going to turn out that we are about to kill ourselves. Bet you. Bet you any money. I know these things. Sort of. Kind of. A little bit. Tiny bit. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> oh, Ellie, my dear. You naughty girl. I knew it wasn't for the murderous thrill. Told ya. <laughs> you. Gave I knew it was us. Old paint tins with lead. Poisonous gas made sure he was dead. You knew Sarah bought some wine bottles. Poison it. Make sure she crumbles. Oh, we're a very sinister lady, by the looks of things. Not so easy to plan. A red toy car brought down a whole man. It's like Home Alone, just you putting toy cars in the John, toilet. The next person on it would be gone. <laughs> Lastly, but not forgotten, poor Beth. You made sure that dinner met her death. Oh, we're really For nasty. This, your eviction case will be dismissed. You wanted to sell that doesn't make building, sense. But the tenants fought you for this thing. Because if everyone died, came up with this brilliant plan. The you'd still get evicted and people would suspect you of murder. The scene will end with this final call. Oh God, it was me. I killed them all. <gasps> she didn't even know it was her. Just one more thing. Where is the body? This is the last one which you will see. It's going to be us. Obviously. Oh, do we not get to actually see us jump out? They got you. Just before oh. <laughs> you got there. Okay. Repent before your souls get condemned. 
Purgatory at last is over. Let go of the past and the anger. This has had such a cool story, to be honest. It was a really cool story. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, that's cute. The developer did it in memory of his mom, which is really quite nice. Um, I really liked that game. I thought the story was really, really well thought out. It was really sort of interesting to get into a game that actually not a lot was going on, but actually it's just telling you a story and you're just involved in that story. I thought it was really interesting. I really want to know if the developers are British just because of that thing with the houses. So when I put this on itch.io, if you watch this, developers, please let me know whether it, you are British or not because I'd quite like to know. So if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. Please be sure to subscribe to become a friend of the Fringe. And please be sure to leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.